Okay, he hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about JAML words and harnesses. So basically what JAMA means is JAMA is JAMA means Japanese Amusement Machine Manufacturers Association. So this was kind of like the standard for arcade games or arcade uh, industry back in the 1980s to the 1990s. And um Basically, um, most arcade uh, cabinets had a JAMA board in it. It had like a JAMA harness like this, but the JAMA boards back in the 1980s were a lot bigger than this. This JAMA board, which you see here, this one and this one, much bigger. The board was like um, probably maybe four times the size of this very large boards but they had this they still had the same JAMA harness and everything and um, what uh, JAMA boards allow you to do is it allows you to uh, set up a um, arcade cabinet with um, simply just the JAMA board and the JAMA harness so this is one type of JAMA board, and this is another more modern type of JAMA board. And it has this cartridge like thing here, so you just connect this to here. So you see this numbered right here, like uh, you see this 5 volt positive, 5 volt negative, 12 volts, and you see this pin out here in relation to that. So this is one two three four five and it goes all the way down to 28 so the pin here is one and the, the last pin here is 28 so the pin here is one the last pin is 28 and it corresponds to, to how you would put it in so this would have to match so if you invert this JAMA board and stick it in here uh, it would just go in like a cartridge like a Nintendo cartridge or Atari cartridge or whatever and you have to know what these, these pinouts mean so there's two sides to it there's the solder side and a part side so it's kind of like split and you have these these connectors you just plug it in and that's how you get it in there these connectors and um, basically um, the back side of it, I mean the, the pins that have um, that are from um, I guess 16 to 26 are buttons so NC means um, you don't have to connect it but if you want to add more buttons here it will be on this side, the solder side to be um, player 2 button 4 and on the part side, it would be player one, button four. So this is player one. I'm sorry about that. I screwed up here. So one side is player one, one side is player two. And um, if I put one here, it would be player two, button four, five. Player one, button five. And this is player two, button one, player one, button one. And it all corresponds to each one. Player two here, player one there. This would be the start button. That would be the start button for player one. And this switch here is this is also a button. This is for the coin. And this is for player two. And this is the coin switch for player one. So basically, there's there's like I said two types one that looks like a bare bone thing this has 19 games in one uh, some could have as many as 400 games in one like this one right here and um, I'll explain to you what each of these things are so this is a stereo port 3.5 inch audio jack so we do have speaker here on the JAMA board, but 
you could use you could choose to use this or you could just use the stereo connector here and connect it to a monitor so for this one it's over here 3.5 millimeter audio jack for here it's there and this is the VGA out so you just hook up your monitor here if you have a HDMI screen you just get a VGA to HDMI adapter and hook it up to your display and this is a Molex uh, connector this is what um, AT power supplies had to uh, power up like um, hard drives optical drives and stuff like that back in the past but now they use uh, SATA ports to do that but uh, if you get an old AT power supply you can connect it to here and power it up like that power this or this up that way you don't have to use um, you don't have to use a power supply a JAMA power supply to power it up with this thing but you could just power it up with the AT power so supply which I will discuss later and for this one there's volume control so you just turn the knob left or right to um, increase the volume or lower the volume so in here they have a USB port for the controller but here this board does not have a USB controller this also has a VGA for audio for video display this one has a trackball input this one does not and this here is a dip switch for changing the resolution so you could change it from higher resolution or lower resolution or whatever you like and this is a reset button so if you want to reset the arcade machine you can just um, push this in and reset it and the interface for for this card is here for that card is there with pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 going from left to right so the end pin is 28 so it corresponds to here if you want to hook this up you just um, invert the cartridge and stick it in here just like that make sure it just corresponds to the pin and that's it so this is a power supply unit this this connects to the JAMA this connects to the JAMA cables which I will show you next so I'm gonna go to the next slide so I'm sorry here actually so this is the pinout this is the JAMA power supply unit and this is a schematic of a more detailed schematic of uh, of the pins for the JAMA board so um, the way you connect the power supply unit and what you need to do that is you need to get a you need to get something like this which is a switch for switch and a connector for a uh, for a power supply unit like this so I'm gonna leave this in the video links and you can find it in the schematic it has the fuse right here and the fuse is here you just put it in there and close it kind of like a battery that's it so so the way this connects is you have two AC here AC1 AC2 AC1 AC2 and you have FG which means fault ground so if you don't understand what this means it's, it's okay if you're not like an engineer or someone who understands this stuff you you don't have to understand that because I'm I just left it for for myself and I guess for other people who can uh, who want to understand the stuff in more detail they can look at the schematic and do that but um, I want to explain it in a simple way that everyone can understand it and hook it up so um, so you get this thing and then everything's wired for this so it just comes with this type of connector you have a yellow one which is for the fault ground and 
the blue wire with this connector which is for the AC and another red wire with this connector for for AC also and um, the way you hook it up is you just take a screwdriver a Phillips head screwdriver you just unscrew it and loosen these and then you just put this in there and tighten it up so fault ground is yellow it goes here just like that and uh, AC one is the blue cable you just connect it here and AC2 is the red cable which you see here it goes in there and then you just tighten it uh, so the format will be a little bit different for each power supply in this example you see 12 volts is and on the top and negative 5 volts is on the bottom and they may have different configurations but make sure you know what these mean and connect it into the right one and make sure the power supply is not connected to the wall when you do this Just make sure everything is not connected to the wall outlet before you do this or you're gonna get shocked and that's not very good so from your JAMA board this is wires from your JAMA harness basically you have these and it will be colored accordingly like this so um, the 12 volt from your JAMA board a wire will come out and then with this connector you connect it here to the 12 positive 12 volt and you just screw it in and um, you have the red one which is 5 volts positive 5 volts um, It'll be connected from either one of these with this kind of connector you just screw it in and you have um, the ground it doesn't matter where you put it in you can put it in here or here but you just put in one ground cable with this kind of connector from your jamble board and screw it in and that's it basically and this is another type of JAMA power supply and this is another there's many different types and these are not very expensive you could buy them on Amazon or eBay for very little money for as little as maybe twenty dollars or thirty dollars depends on what kind you get but they're not very expensive at all so another power supply you can use is a vintage AT power supply this is like an old um, socket 7 or socket 5 Pentium um, power supply a 486 power supply a 386 power supply so the older AT power supplies look like this and they just have a power set switch you just you just push it in and it turns it on so that's it and then you just connect this Molex cable and connect it here to this Molex port on your JAMA board and you're good to go and again don't plug it in before you uh, plug it in here just plug it in here first and then plug it into the wall because so, you don't want to uh, get shocked or anything so uh, for safety reasons so and as you can see on this channel Jamma board it has with the housing it um, has a Molex cable here you just connect it here to there and connect this to the wall outlet and just turn it on and that's it quite simple so this type of Jamma board is a newer Jamma board and they will have more games in it it will be more expensive and this type of Jamma board will have anywhere from 12 to 60 games and it's an older type of Jamma board it'll be cheaper but this one this newer one has definitely has more features let's get to the next one um, next slide so um, now we're going to be discussing the buttons and how you can connect it to your Jamma harness so this is connected these buttons and joysticks is connected to your JAMA harness with this type of uh, connector this comes out from your JAMA harness and um, in order to and I'm just going to explain the basics of it this is ground so you have a ground cable from your JAMA harness 
with this and you just slide it right in and connect it to the ground so the ground is a black wire these are going to be daisy chained and i'll show you that in the next slide so this one this part right here is for the signal right here so there these two are kind of like different but these have this has two prongs this has one prong but you would just connect it here with this connector from your jamma board and then that would uh, enable you to use the buttons basically and this is a sample jamma these are sample jamma buttons they either come in concave or convex so concave is uh, Let me show you what concave looks like. A concave curve, okay. So this is a concave curve, so it's kind of like it's like a it's like a hill or something. So concave button, let's take a look. A concave button. Okay, it's kind of like a curve and convex curve. So this is a convex. It looks looks, looks kind of like a parabola. It's like a it's like a valley or something. It's like a convex button. It'd be like that. So kind of like pushes in, but. I kind of like the convex kind of buttons, like the like that kind of button with that kind of shape. So, so this is a con con vex button, and if it's like a valley, if it's like a a hill, it will be a concave button. So, you have two different types of buttons basically, and this is the type of connector that you connect it to, and. As you can see, in in relation to the JAMA pinout, um, so you have pl for player one and player two. So, um, so basically, these will be colored, which I will show you on the next part. So, if I want to put the start button, it would a connector will come out like that, and uh, I would connect it to a button. The black button is ground um, for for the signal. It's it's that, and you just connect it to that. And I'll show you in the next part how that's done. Okay, so here's a more detailed uh, diagram. So this is a daisy chain um, connector for your Jamma board. It will come with this, I think. And this will be here, I think, or there, or wherever, where ground is. Like, ground is, ground could be here. One, pin 1 and pin 2 is ground. Pin 27 and pin 28 are ground. And it will be on your JAMA harness, basically. For here, I think it's there. If it doesn't come with it, then you could... Um, you could get a JAMA connector and connect it here, connect it to, let's say, pin uh, 28, and then you could have a JAMA harness if it doesn't come with one. But I'm pretty sure it comes with one. So let's say that this is a JAMA harness uh, connector, and it comes with all these cables. So um, for this button right here, um, it would go here for for ground for all of them they would all be daisy chained all of them and they would go into there basically so this part is ground like here the signal is on the top so let's say for this one it's light blue right the light blue cable that's start and that would go here connect there with this basically and this is for the coin so this is a yellow wire which you see here and this is connected with this 
it goes into this connector and the next one is well, we did start already so button so up the up switch would be the purple and it will connect there which I highlighted and down is here with the light green and it connects to right there and left is this brown wire it will connect here and left no I'm sorry left is here the brown connects to right there right is the pink wire and it will connect there and blue is a button it's a button one it's a light it's a blue uh, wire and it connects there green is this is a green wire and it connects there with that again and button three is orange wire and it connects via this and just slide it in connects there and uh, like I said all the ground um, wires are daisy chained and connected to that and connects to um, your um, ground connectors basically and that's it let's get to the next one I'm going to show you the joystick in more detail and how that connects basically so the way you test this out is you um, you would pr press up on your on the joystick right so if you press up then I'm pushing in this way so this is going up and when it goes up then what which switch does it hit it hits this switch right this switch is hit because when I push up it hits that basically and I highlighted this in the purple and the way this is wired I showed you earlier so this is ground it's the same type of switch this is a signal and the signal and the ground uh, cables come from the JAMA harness and the ground is uh, basically daisy chained so this is up so it hits the switch so it's this wire right here it's a purple wire and it connects to up basically and like I said, ground is all daisy chained and it all goes to, uh, it would all go to ground on the JAMA harness, basically. And you would do this for each joystick. So if I want to do this for player one, I would do this for player one. If you want to do this for player two, you'll have to do the exact same thing all over again with player two on the other side. So now let's go to down. So if I push down if I push back on this then it hits this so this is highlighted by the um, light green rectangle and this wire is a green wire from your JAMA harness and it connects here from here to here with this connector so now if I do left then this but this switch is hit basically this goes click so uh, this hits so this is a light brown rectangle as you can see this connects here the brown and that's left I hit I move here it hits that so this is left brown and again ground is daisy chain that goes here with this connector everything is connected to this type of connector so if I do right then if I move right this thing hits the switch hits and you get this connector connected here from your JAMA harness it's a pink wire and it connects here and this is right so that's basically it and you would do this like I said with the other side and do this with all the buttons and the joystick switches and everything and you're good to go so um that's it. So anyways, thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975.